Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles today. She is out and about with Mama Sparkles. But uh, we're gonna talk about Ahsoka. You know, Ahsoka, the bestest show ever. Yeah, it didn't do very well. And I think this is uh, an indicator that Star Wars is in, like we need another indicator, right? That Star Wars is in big, big trouble. The Ahsoka finale performed better than Andor. You know, the show that nobody heard about, cared about. Yeah, but 42% worse than The Mandalorian. 42% worse than The Mandalorian. Exclusive figures of the Ahsoka finale's viewership reveal it performed better than Andor, but struggled to catch up to The Mandalorian. And that's after The Mandalorian had damage done to it by the Gina Carano situation and Lizzo and Jack Black and just stupid choices and uh, Bo-Katan being the main character now, apparently, you know, because women have to be in charge of The Mandalorian. Uh, yeah, so... We're gonna talk about this, it's not looking very good. And this show actually had some of the most potential to win viewers back. And some people liked it, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, some people that have watched Ahsoka, especially if you were fans of Clone Wars and Rebels, they said the show was good. This is not a reflection on the quality of the show. I'm not commenting on the quality of the show. I'm talking numbers and the numbers aren't good. The general public does not give a shit about Ahsoka. Just like I said, they probably wouldn't because She's a pretty obscure character. If you don't follow the expanded universe, you don't follow the cartoon shows, nobody knows who the hell she is. She is never referenced in the movies, at least not George Lucas's movies. Normies don't know she exists, but you're telling people, hey, uh, Anakin had this, uh, had this Padawan in between movies he never talked about in episode three. You know what I'm saying? She was a retcon. She was a retcon. And, uh, Speaking of retcons, Disney is going to have to retcon all this. So we're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about uh, Ian McGregor in a very awkward appearance at Comic-Con. Because, again, the strikes are still on. And this is really, this is this is the one thing I, I really do not agree with, with the strikes. Uh, I think it's really stupid. Actors are not allowed to talk about their past projects if those projects were associated with a studio that's being struck. So Ian McGregor can't talk about The Phantom Menace you know, freaking 20 some 25 years ago or whatever it's been now. He can't talk about that uh, because it's uh, Disney owned. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what the frick? And that was the same with uh, Zach Levi. He said it was stupid. He went to a con. He wasn't allowed to talk about Chuck from years ago. He wasn't allowed to talk about uh, anything he's working on now. He can't promote anything. Um, Stephen Amell, same thing. He's like, I can't freaking talk about a show now that people need to watch and I'm doing the con circuit to I'm doing the con circuit to promote my show and I can't promote it because of the strikes, but the strike shouldn't have any bearing on that, you know, or even talking about old stuff, especially when you have fans come to these conventions, people save up all year to go to New York comic con. Although I got to tell you with the state of the world today, I would not want to be in New York. I am just saying, I am just saying, and I hope you're all safe in New York today. But uh, that was one of the last places, Javits Center. Yeah, it's one of the last places I'd want to be. I'm just saying. Um, but that aside, like people are saving up all year to go to these comic conventions to see these celebrities who were in these shows and movies that they loved, hoping to get information, behind the scenes information or anecdotes about these shows and movies. And they're not allowed to talk about it. So he talked about bagels. We'll talk about that after Ahsoka. So before we get into it any further, Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, no woohoos today. She'll be back. She'll be back. Don't worry. Uh, the direct Ahsoka suffers weak finale viewership. Will season two even happen? Not if they're smart. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, what is it? Hasbro's not even making many toys or any toys of Ahsoka. There are Ahsoka Tano action figures from the Mandalorian rotting on shelves at Ollie's. All the Clone Wars, or not Clone Wars stuff. Yeah, basically Clone Wars, but all the uh, Mandalorian stuff is just sitting on the shelves. Even the Grogu stuff, nobody wants it. Even the vintage figures, which admittedly look pretty cool. I thought the, the vintage uh, Mando and the vintage uh, Ahsoka Tano actually looked really good. And a couple of years ago, I probably would have bought them and I don't give a shit. And nobody else gives a shit, right? So Hasbro's like, yeah, why should we give a shit? Nobody's gonna buy this stuff. Um, the events of Ahsoka's finale would indicate there will be a season two, but it might not happen. Disney Plus has quickly become the home of all live action Star Wars projects. And they're talking about Ahsoka Tano. They said that the finale had a weak viewership. According to Samba TV, 
The Ahsoka finale drew in 863,000 viewers in U.S. households during the first five days of release. This pales in comparison to its fellow Star Wars Disney Plus counterparts. In particular, Obi-Wan Kenobi's finale was viewed by 1.8 million U.S. households in its first five days. Here's a look at the viewership. So Obi-Wan had 1.8, Book of Boba Fett had 1.5, and that was garbage. Mando season three, 1.4. Mando season two, which was probably the high point of uh, Disney Star Wars on Disney Plus. We had proper Luke Skywalker return, if only for a couple of minutes, but only had 1.1 million people. Will Ahsoka even be renewed? The outlook for Ahsoka season two has grown grimmer following this disappointing finale viewership, especially when considering Ahsoka set up and reintroduced so many characters during the live action New Republic era of Star Wars. Yes, why do they keep doing that? Here are all these new characters and we're going to shove into the show, hope that they all get their own, they get their own shows. Um, so they're talking that Dave Filoni is going to get a movie within the next three to four years. Was that going to be an Ahsoka movie? The finale left a lot up in the air, including Ahsoka and Sabine remaining stranded on uh, Peridia. Thrawn returning to the galaxy and Balin's skull standing atop uh, a statue of, in Gondor <laughs> or whatever, you know, it's like Lord of the Rings. Somehow he was magically transported to uh, Middle Earth. A name change could be made to Ahsoka season two, calling it Rebels or something. Uh, Lucasfilm could be saving it for the Filoni movie. Look out, look out for Star Wars Heir to the Empire to re be repurposed in a live action project. It's too late. It's too damn late. It's too late for Disney Star Wars. Yeah, so Ahsoka only had 863 U.S. households over Andor uh, 591,000. Nobody knew Andor existed. Now, I have heard from people whose opinions I trust that Andor was actually pretty good. That being said, I have no interest, no interest at all in watching Andor um, because I have no interest in Disney Star Wars at all. I mean, they could even, God, look at all these ads. They could even walk everything back and like reset the whole damn thing. And I would, I would not come back. You had me back with Mandalorian. You had me back. I'm like, okay, cautiously optimistic shows actually pretty good. And then you drop the ball on that, you know? So I'm not, you know, fool me once. I'm not coming back. And a lot of people aren't coming back. It's still a success guys. It's still a success. It doesn't sound that doesn't sound like a success to me. Star Wars is made for TV, made for streaming schlock. That's what it is, guys. Um, yeah, this is not good. Where is this? Uh, here we go. This is the chart. Yeah, this isn't good. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so let's talk about Uma McGregor. Uma McGregor at New York Comic Con again. If you're there today, please stay safe. Please stay safe uh, for reasons I probably can't talk about on YouTube. Um, so yeah, he wasn't allowed to talk about star Wars or Marvel or anything. He said he had to find something else to talk about because of the strike. The first few questions he gets are about proper way to brew tea. Three minutes, no more, no less a splash of milk and no sugar. What? Then the topic comes back to the big apple and it lands on a few of his favorite local meals. So his favorite restaurants in New York, McGregor can't seem to pinpoint his favorite bagel. It's not like he hasn't had the chance to try one. He's spent a fair amount of it. Okay, this is the other state of things. You've got you, McGregor, at New York Comic Con. You cannot talk about Star Wars, so he's talking about fucking bagels. But you know what? That's probably more interesting than Obi Wan. I'm just saying. Ewan McGregor talking about tea and bagels probably was more interesting than the entirety of Obi Wan. But there we go. This is crazy. Uh, he said, it's difficult for us to be up here and not be able to talk about our actual films. Um, I apologize for that. That's just the way I have to do it, I suppose. But it was important to see you all and meet you all. This relationship, the people we make films for and the people who make them. There needs to be, I believe, again, in this situation, and you can feel the kind of the, the what the hell, the disgust, the anger with the actors. I think there needs to be, I think if the movie is old or the TV show is old, Say like, look, I can't talk about Obi-Wan because it's currently on Disney Plus, but I can talk about The Phantom Menace because that was made years ago and it's, it's not going to have any effect. You know, everybody who's wanted to see The Phantom Menace has seen The Phantom Menace. 
I think there needs to be like a time, a period of time, you know, like, okay, if it's within the last five years, maybe I can't talk about it, but if it's like 20 years ago, yeah, that's cool. Cause these guys, I mean, again, how many people spent tons of money to go to New York to see these celebrities, to hear stories about the favorite movies and favorite shows these guys worked on, and they're not allowed to talk about it. I mean, you want to get the public on your side, SAG-AFTRA, telling your actors they can't talk to their fans, their biggest fans, the fans who spent thousands of dollars to go see them, that they can't talk about shows, that's really fucking lame. That is really fucking lame. Again, if it's a new project, new movie coming out, I totally get that. I don't want to promote that movie, whatever. That's fine. Something from 20 years ago, 15 years ago. Come on, seriously, you're not you're not winning people over to your side. You really aren't. But there we go, guys. Uh, Disney is not winning people over to their side. Nobody's watching Ahsoka. Some people are watching Ahsoka, and some people are liking it. That's fine. If you like it, that's fine. Uh, I am out. I'm officially out. I am done from Star Wars. I have mourned. I have moved on. Now I point and laugh, but even then, it's just like, God, I'm just kicking the corpse. Like, there, I don't even get any joy out of talking about Star Wars anymore because it's such a dead franchise to me. Like, we used to talk about Star Wars all the time. I think because we were shocked at all the stupid decisions being made. Now we're like, Star Wars was six movies. That's it. We had six movies. Three. You know, depends on who you are. If you want to just acknowledge three, that's fine. Some people are real shticklers and they only think there are two. They don't like Return of the Jedi very much. But uh, I will... I will I will say there are six Star Wars movies. So, and that's good. We're good. They had their time and that's it. And now it's time to move on. I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.